Welcome to How to Navigate My P&O. Now this is a web page, it is not an app. And this is the one before you sell. There's also My P&O Holidays, which you can use when you're on board. So the first thing you do is you search for My P&O. It will take you to where you can log in. You click log in and it takes you to this page. It says, welcome to My P&O Cruises. The first thing it asks you to do is to add your booking reference. I add my name, which is Peach, you know that. I add my surname, you know who that who I am as well. That's all out there. And then ask you to add your date of birth. So I'm gonna put, for instance, I'll put a 25th of December. I'm booked on I'm born on Christmas Day, and that's make me quite young. And you then click login. Okay, we have reached booking summary. Now this explains all about my up and coming cruise. I'm on the Azora Mediterranean. I cannot wait. Um, I'm embarking from Valletta in Malta. This is a map of my itinerary. Um, this tells me that I can check in later. So I'm, I'm nearer the time. I think it's something like 30 days, but I don't know. You could give you an example where you can check in and you can print your luggage labels. Now, explore my ports. This is a wonderful part of the web page which we're going to come back to because a lot of people miss that. So I'm going to scroll down. It's this our pre-cruise checklist. Um, admin, where you can check your details, appropriate travel insurance. Again, you can do all this for a different part of the web page. And scroll down further. It shows you information about my stateroom. I have an inside, forward, or aft. P and I are going to choose that for me. It tells me about my bed configuration and more information about your cabin here. But with the P&O webpage, you can navigate through different parts of the webpage to the same areas. So we are now going to go back to this navigation bar here, and we're going to click on Before You Sell. Now, these are still shots of my information because obviously I can't put my personal information out there. So the first thing it asks you to do is to add your personal details. So you add your personal details, you click edit to do that. It asks for your name, your date of birth, your address, your mobile number, and your email address. You then scroll down and it will ask you to add your travel document details, which is your passport number, nationality, country of residence, country of birth, country of issue all for me united kingdom the issue date and the expiry date again you do that by clicking the edit button you scroll down further and you then add your travel insurance it's asking for your emergency assistance company name the name of the company you're insured with the telephone number all those details again you do that by clicking edit and scroll down further it then asks you to add the emergency contact details so p and o can contact somebody in an emergency i.e the contact name their relationship to you their daytime number evening number which is quite often the same it's a mobile quite often contact address if you want to put that again you do that by clicking edit and so that's everything you add before you sell so now we're going to go to flights On this page, it will give you all the information about your flights, your flight reference numbers, your all the flight times, the terminal that you are going to embark your flight from, all about your luggage allowance. There's lots of information there, which is wonderful. And also, you can also choose your own seats as well. Now, if you choose your own seats, you're going to have to add again your first name, your surname, your date of birth, and your P&O reference number. But that then allows you to book your own seats and choose your own seats as well. So that is all in the flights. Right. If we go back to this navigation bar, and we click on your itinerary. Okay, we have now reached your itinerary. 
if I scroll down just to give you a brief view of it, it has all the date of my embarkation, which is the 27th of April, information about that I talk about as well. But it also has the option to go to your drinks packages, your shore experiences, the spa, travel extras, gifts, and internet packages. Now, within my PO page, you can navigate to the same areas from different places. You can also reach shore experiences here. You can reach the drinks here, the spa here, the internet here, and the travel extras here. These are extra parts on this navigation bar, which is dining and entertainment. But we're gonna stay on your itinerary to make it really easy to navigate. So if I scroll down slightly, this tells me, first of all, that on the 27th of April, that's my embarkation day, it's evening, it's a casual dress, a casual dress. What I love about this, if I go to the next day, the 28th of April, it tells me it's a port day in Messina, Italy, and it tells me my dress code in the evening is celebration. And if I scroll down here, it tells me that I haven't made any bookings for this day at the moment, it says that, but it also tells me all about Messina in Italy. If you click on the 29th, I have a sea day, evening casual. If I click on the 30th, port day in Zadar in Croatia, evening casual dress. And again, you scroll down and it tells you all about Zadar in Croatia, which is great. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on scrolling down because from your itinerary, we are going to explore the drinks packages, the shore experiences, the spa, Travel extras and gifts are really on the same page, to be honest with you, and the internet packages. So the first thing we now do from the Your Itinerary page is that we will click Book Drinks Packages. So it takes you to the Ultimate Drinks Package page where you can explore the package. But if you scroll down, it tells you all about the different packages that you can get. For instance, you can add this one to your basket. But, or you can click discover more. So what we do on the drinks packages, we click explore the package. And if we scroll down again, this tells you the various drinks packages that you can book. Now, you have the opportunity to get the ultimate drinks package, the non-alcoholic drinks package. The children's drinks package is actually available for adults as well. And again, what you do, you just click add to basket if you want to book that. So I'm gonna go back to your itinerary Scroll down, because we're going to work from this page here. And we're now going to explore shore experiences. If I scroll down here, it gives me a highlights of different excursions in different places that you can book. For instance, the Valletta City Walk, it says add to basket or few details. What I would do is I would click discover more. And you scroll down. You have this wonderful um, all destinations bar here um, where you can book or you can search an excursion from a particular port. Yeah. So what I would do is I will click on Messina in Italy. Now this gives me a rundown of Messina in Italy and all of the options I have for excursions that are available. This one here says limited availability, the Godfather's footsteps. I'm gonna give that a go in a second and have a look at that. An example 
You can either just go for it and book that and add that to basket. That's £48 at the moment. Or I can view details. The Godfather footsteps. Again, I can add it to basket if I want to book it. Now, this gives me the, it tells me the destination. It's five hours, which is great information. And the activity level's high. So that's really important to know. And it tells you about what's included. And again, you have an explanation exactly about what that excursion is and what you can expect on that excursion, which is wonderful. So back again to your itinerary, which is the easiest place to scroll from. We have done the drinks packages. We've explored some of the shore experiences. Now we're going to explore the spa. So I've clicked book spa and this takes you to all the different treatments that you can treat yourself to. Just say, for instance, you wanted um, acupuncture. You were going to go for acupuncture. But if you click details, it will take you to all the details about that particular acupuncture. You've got all the different options here and you can add it to basket and we can view the details. So we click back to your itinerary and we scroll down. Our fourth option in fact, it's fourth and fifth because you will find both on the same page, but you can click IE gifts here. But if you click travel extras, gifts is underneath it. So what you then do, you click travel extras and it shows you all the different things that you can do. The first thing we will see is travel insurance where you have the option to book your travel insurance from P&O's partner insurance company, which is Holiday Extras. You just literally click here to get a quote and you will get a quote. It's really worth having insurance in my view. Now here they are the hotel options. So if you've got a no fly cruise and you're going from Southampton, you can discover all about the hotels near Southampton. Or if you're flying, you've got the airport hotels, you click discover more and you can see all the options you have to book your hotel for the night before. And here you can treat yourself to an airport lounge if you're flying to book. Please click here, offering a private haven away from the airport hustle. Normally you get food and drink as well. Parking. Book your port parking, depending obviously where you're cruising from. And if you're flying, you have airport parking. So again, you can book your airport parking here. because now we morph into the enjoy the gift of giving. Here you can choose from a range of gifts to spoil a friend or loved one on board. You can surprise them. Or you could treat yourself from champagne breakfast to bed, in bed, birthday cakes, flowers. So let's scroll down and see what your options are. It says here you have a welcome on board package. Again, you can discover more, which I will do in a minute. No excuses needed. Start your day with the most luxurious way of champagne breakfast and food for thought. And if you click here, it gives you more. You can say it with flowers. You can order a bottle of our finest and the ultimate celebration package. Okay, we have gone to the welcome aboard package. Let's scroll down for a little extra celebration packages and holiday treats. A bottle of house champagne. Give yourself some flowers, why not? I love that, P&O Cruises box of chocolates. The welcome aboard package is available across all ships for 70 pounds. There you go, say it with flowers. You could treat yourself to cakes and tasty treat. The behind the scene tours.
let's go to here let's have a look and scroll down you can find out exactly what happens behind the scenes on the ship the bridge you can go onto the bridge in the engine control room all these different treats you can do are in the gifts so there we go right i'm going to go back to your itinerary page and last but not least scroll down internet packages if you click book internet packages this gives you the options that you have you can select your preferred internet plan and this here tells you exactly what you will get if you decide to book it for instance for me it's 126 pounds at the moment per cruise or 18 pounds a day and if i click this I'll, i will get video and voice calling which is great a faster connection it says and music and video streaming here i have social media um web browsing and email it depends what you want again that's 84 pounds a for the cruise or 12 pounds a day and then you, whichever one you decided to do it says book now and you can click on that right so i'm just going to go back to the your itinerary page so we're now going to explore on this navigation bar the dining options and the entertainment options so let's click on dining and the first thing I see is I can make reservations from the 13th of April. That is something I'm definitely going to come back and explore, see if I can book a speciality restaurant. Here's a synopsis about the dining on board. And for instance, normally the dining is usually bookable 14 days before you board the ship. And it does say sometimes, please inquire on board. So I see exactly what I can do because I'm thinking of booking the Sindhu. Um, this is the list of the speciality restaurants that there are on board, which is the Epicurium, the Glass House, the Beach House, and the Sindhu. But if I scroll down a little bit further, we also have a synopsis about breakfast, all the details about lunch, dinner, the all day dining, afternoon tea and i'm going to go to the ice creams mm, that looks delicious okay let's scroll back up again and i'm thinking of booking sindhu it says at the moment please inquire on board so i'll see if that opens up or not on in later on but here i can click details it tells me sindhu is located in deck seven midship and what I love, it's got a few photographs of the food that I can expect, but it allows me to view a sample menu. Now I have clicked the view sample menu. I am going to scroll down. It says, welcome to Sindhu. It talks all about the restaurants. And now it gives me a list of the menu the starters that are available and how much they cost at the moment prices can change the main courses that are available and some of those desserts they look great don't they okay i'm now going to go back to your itinerary I'm going to come back to this navigation bar. We've tried the dining and now we're going to go to entertainment. And the first thing I see is that I will be able to reserve my seats from the 12th of April. So if you love the shows, if you love the entertainment, it's really worth coming back and to see exactly what you can book beforehand. Because of course you can always change things when you're on board. And this gives you an idea of what to expect. These are the signature performances, the cast of the headliners, theatre company take to the stage to wow you. It tells you about the live music, with the party band Pulse, it tells me about. You've got information, there's guest presenters, there's learn something new and the activities, and also the films that you can watch. 
And something extra, when the sun sets, the fun doesn't have to. Find your perfect evening every night, which is fantastic. So there we go, that is the entertainment page. I'm now gonna go back to and click on your itinerary and just go through very quickly again, everything that's there. And then we're gonna have some real fun with the shore experiences. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Booking Summary. Because we are now going to click on Explore My Ports, which is a wonderful page and they've had so much fun doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Zadar. Now what we have is a split screen. On the left hand side we have all kinds of information which I'll talk about in a minute. But on the right hand side is the map, which you can print off and you can take a screenshot. You can save as a PDF. And what you can do is that you can scroll in closer and look at everything, get more information about where everything is. And on the left hand side, we have an overview of Zadar, which looks beautiful. And as we start scrolling down, we have an introduction telling you, welcome to Zadar, a fetching historic port on the Dalmatian coast. We have information about the guide, about this guide. No guidebook knows a town quite like a local. And as we start scrolling down now, this is the exciting part because every port we go into, we can find out all kinds of information about local places to have coffee and cake. And if you see on the right hand side, the map moves as we scroll down. And all the different options for lunch. And of course you can click on the right hand side of the map and close in and zoom in and see exactly where it is and screenshot the map. And he had the opportunity to go to the website for the Connor restaurant. There is so much to see that you can spend hours at each port looking at all the various options that you have, not just restaurants and bars, it has all the places that you can visit as well. And the map goes with you, shopping. I know lots of people love shopping. You can visit Market Sadar on the map here. That tells you exactly where it is and you can get closer on the map. You can go in closer and see more information about Market Sadar. And on the left hand side, we have, i click off that, sorry. On the left hand side, what you can do is you can click on the website of Market Sadar to find out more information. There is so much that you can explore and see to give you an idea of where you'd like to visit. Iconic UNESCO World Heritage Fortifications. Duke's Palace. If you click on more info, it gives you directions, website, or you can call them, which I'm not going to do, <laughs> not in the UK for my computer. The Museums of Ancient Glass, again on the right hand side, you can see exactly where that is. Spend hours and hours browsing the map. There again, if you click on more info, it tells you directions and the website again. I'm just going to keep clicking down. There's so much that you can see here. And get to the bottom of the page. You have general tips. It tells you about the local currency, the emergency services, the police station if you need it. Hopefully you won't need a police station. Tourist information office could be useful. Again, the, the address and the telephone number, the pharmacy in case you need that. Tipping is expected to leave a 10% gratuity. That gives you an idea, you know, so the dislikes 
Locals dislike it when, okay, it tells you what you don't want to talk about. Security, essential phrases, good morning, um, good afternoon, dobadan. I wonder if that's correct. I probably not, nothing like it at all. So that is fantastic information that you can find. If you click here, and for instance, you go to Trieste, then you have exactly the same. Where you can have your morning coffee. This part of the page is a wonderful place to explore. You can save it as a PDF and you can spend hours and hours planning and looking forward to your cruise. Okay, we have gone back to my favorite part of the webpage, which is your itinerary. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of discovering of what you can find on the My p o which is the webpage before you cruise. Thanks for watching. Cheers, Pete.